Hey guys. We're Daniel and Alex. We came to this village 10 months ago. We left Berlin. We lived Berlin for eight years, but decided the big city life is not for us. That's why we made a big lifestyle change and came to this wonderful village. And maybe you know from the last episode that I had a small breakdown because my editing software crashed and I decided I will not do any more episodes about our one year journey in this village. But Alex convinced me that we should film what we're gonna do today. So what are we doing today? Today we're gonna make torchia and we're gonna uh, prepare, prepare paprika for the winter. Yeah. Basically, all our neighbors are preparing for the winter because it's already autumn here, even though it's very warm. At the moment, Alice is uh, wearing a t-shirt, it's actually already autumn and the nights are already very cold. So we decided we should also learn something from the locals and learn how to prepare our own veggies for the winter so that we have something to eat in the winter. So uh, let us show you how we're gonna do that. We have zero experience about that. Uh, so you let's can see. <laughs> see, let's see what the result is gonna be. Yeah. So we just went to the village shop and we bought 13 kg of paprika. Um, and additionally another for paprika. the turshia, we bought another type of paprika. We bought that spice piment or whatever it is we All bought spice, yeah. carrots as well carrots and cauliflower yes we will um, we'll tell you what the exact um, proportions proportions are in the description below we're preparing the veggies um, we have to cut them we'll first start with the turshia I just checked uh, there is no translation for the word Turshia in English, so that's the actual meaning of the thing, Turshia, that's the real word. Um, so yeah, we're preparing the veggies and I think it's super cool uh, that we're doing that. It's something that we're learning here to eat seasonal fruits and vegetables and it's something that's super normal for the locals but after living in berlin for so long we got used to eating what honey Rukua. <laughs> Rukua. and tomatoes that you know they taste like shit like super bad all year long so you don't really notice if it they're off season or not um so that's definitely one of the really cool things that we're learning here to you know kind of eat more seasonally, which we all know is much healthier. Mm. <laughs> the recipe also calls for celery. We didn't buy it from the store because our neighbors said they have some and they're gonna give it to us. So here is the celery. And the next step is preparing the marinade. We are mixing water, sugar, salt, vinegar and the spices. We have to wait for it to boil, I think. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. And after they've boiled, we also add the aspirin. Apparently there are also recipes without aspirin, but since that's what we were told to do, that's the recipe that my grandparents are following and also our neighbors are following, I would prefer that we also stick to it and don't try it to be too new age and not to add any aspirin in it. So we are doing it that way and we'll see how it turns. And the final step is adding the marinade to the jars. We ended up with nine jars, so we initially thought that we would only need seven. So I'm not sure if the marinade is gonna be enough, 
but we're gonna figure it out and i think that's it so we have to add the marinade and then uh put the lids on right mm -hmm. it's that simple Ta -da! and here are our babies already ready we're gonna store them now somewhere it's gotta be a cool and dark place and in two weeks we're gonna try them out and see how they turn out but now we're gonna make the paprikas And now is the time to actually prepare the paprikas and our neighbors give us access to their old-fashioned, old-school oven that does the best job for baking the paprika. There we go, you can see what a nice color all the paprikas have and once they are ready, what do we do? We put them here. In the jar. And cover it to hold the temperature. At the bottom is the um, uh, aspirin. aspirin. Yes, and we put a couple of paprika here. We press them till it's full, and at the top we put one uh, one spoon, one small spoon, tea, tea, teaspoon or tablespoon. How is it called? Tea, teaspoon. Teaspoon. Like that. So, was that salt? Salt. Yes. Great. And we press it with this thingy. This one, I guess. Yeah. And that's the jar that are already ready. Upside down, so they create a vacuum. Here we are, two weeks later. It is time to check how our veggies and paprika turn out very excited for that it's already dark outside it's cold so it's the perfect time to try out what we did i'm first gonna open the pickled vegetables ah, there we go and uh, start to serve them that's it there is a bit of juice that needs to be removed that's all They look pretty good. And for the paprika, I prepared a bit of dressing with uh, parsley, garlic, um, olive oil and salt. So when I add that to the paprika, it, it turns out always great. And now of course it's time to try them. So I'll go with the cauliflower first with pickled vegetables. Yes, it's very good. I'm very happy with the result. And uh, now let's try the paprika. It's also very good. I am very happy with the result. I think Alex will also like them when he tries them. So definitely worth the effort. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy that we are finally, you know, are doing something with like the typical village people here. Um, so that's really cool. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, there, there are two more episodes from our one year journey here in the village. And the next episode will be released on the 1st of December. So see you then again. Bye bye.